everybody, I am Nico D, so my old Roid N2 Plus just arrived, but first I've got to finish what I've started yesterday. So yesterday I started playing 5 of my all time favorite real time strategy games, so now I have to do the video editing of that. So here is number 1, Anno 1404. There is a whole series of Anno games, I like most of them. Certainly the earlier ones or the most fun for me, the later ones have lost their magic, which is a bit a pity. I haven't played the latest one, my PC isn't good enough for that probably. So here is Anno 1404. So what I find most fun in Anno or the continuous games. So in the continuous games you choose your opponents, you choose the settings of the game. And then you go play. So first thing you need to do is choose an island to start your civilization. So here I'm choosing a very big island with all the correct ingredients to start a civilization. So it has got everything it needs. It's got stones, it got metal, it got apples for apple cider. It's got it all. The game takes a very long time to finish. So it isn't healthy to play one map in one time. You have to take breaks. So it is a very good strategy game. You have to balance everything very well. So first build everything. Make sure your money doesn't drop too low. You can advance your civilians. But every time you want to advance they want something more. So you have to build more. That costs more. So it is a vicious circle. It takes a long time before you can get everything there is in this game. I always play it until I am the last survivor and that can take really days or even weeks before I can finish it. So you start with a boat, you select an island to start with and then you start building and building and building. Here there is also a pirate, there is Lord Richard Nordbuff where you can sell and buy stuff. So there is a northern world or a western world and an eastern world and both have got a salesman of their own which also can give missions to earn points or to earn money or to earn anything that they can provide. The focus of this game isn't on fighting, it's more on the economics of this game. The fighting only comes in the last. First you are friends, you trade with each other, you make sure everything goes right except the pirate isn't your friend. You can make him your friend if you pay a lot of money for it. So I don't want no friends like that. So let's watch some of the gameplay and here is some music. Enjoy!
So now on to the second game. So Dune 2000, it's a game from 1998. It is very similar to Command and Conquer. It is made by Westwood Studios, so the same maker as Command and Conquer. The gameplay is very alike. The only difference is there are dune worms. So worms in the sands. And if you walk over the sands, the dune worms eat you alive. But you can shoot them also. So there are three factions. You play one faction and you try to destroy the other two factions. It's that simple, but it is a great game. Even this day it is still very playable. It does miss some of the characteristic things from Command and Conquer, but it is still one of the best RTS games. It was one of the first that I really loved. So game number 3, Rome Total War. So there are many games in the Total War series. Rome Total War is the third of it, but is for me still the best of the whole series. Napoleon Total War comes very close, but this one is still great for me. I've got a lot of nostalgia for this game 
and every time I start playing it I can't stop playing it for days so it's better not to start playing too many times with it. So you can choose between many factions like the Romans, the Greeks, the Egyptians, the Macedonians, the Britons, the Saxons. I will play now with the Romans. Every faction has got its own units and its own specialities and it is loosely based on history. But a lot of historical facts do come into this game. This game used to be used a lot in historical documentaries in the early 2000s. That is how I got to know it. I started to play it. And I got hooked so badly. So there are two game modes. So the battle game modes and the map modes. So in the map there are all the settlements and your armies. You can advance your armies per turn. But they can only go so far. So you have to be tactical. You have to think about defending. And you have to think about attacking. So here I am in the battle modes. This is the first battle, easy to win. I've got a good army to fight against a lesser army. Certainly because I've got a bow and an arrow units.
Number 4 needs no introduction I guess. It's Command and Conquer Tiberian Sun. So again there are a lot of Command and Conquer games. But I like Tiberian Sun the most. It's the one that stays with me the most. Because we've played it a lot in network with link cables. With serial link cables. It often went very slow. But we had the time and we waited. Certainly when we had a large camp with many vehicles. We had to wait for every frame to come. But it was awesome. It's just an awesome game. It's very alike like Dune. But a bit more advanced. You can build more than one unit at once. There are a lot more units to build. It's a very fun game. The only reason why it is at the 4th place. Is because you cannot play this game for many many hours. Once it is finished. It is finished. You can play another one then of course. That makes it a lot better to play a network. Because then the game is finished a lot faster. And many of the other games are not good for playing in network. Because they take just way too long to finish. You can still play this game online. There is always someone to find to play against. I am an offline gamer. I mostly play skirmish battles. So here I've got two enemies. And I've got to kill them all. So let's go a bit further. And the last game of my top 5 favorite strategy games is The Settlers 7 Paths to a Kingdom. So I played many Settlers games in the past, but this one is one that I keep playing. It's a game from 2010, so it isn't that old. The gameplay is very good, but it is also rather hard. It is very much a balance game. You have to balance everything, you have to make sure you have got everything you need. If you start building things without having the necessary things, then you can block the game that you can't go further. Then you have lost by yourself just because the balance wasn't right in the beginning. So you do have to use your mind to be able to win this game.
So that's it for today. As sixth game I would have chosen Roller Coaster Tycoon. It's a game that's totally different than all the others in the list. But too bad there was no room for it in the top 5. So it will come in a later video of my top 5 favorite games. So the next videos will be about the Old World N2+. All subscribe for that. Thank you all for watching. See you all later. Bye!